All right, and welcome everybody. Um, we'll be doing some Modern Horizons drafts. Looking for that Renin 6. Um, I've done a few of these off stream to try and get back into uh, the balance of doing it. Just kind of get my skills back up. And uh, this is a tough opening pack for me. Um, Ruination Rider is probably the best uncommon in the Green Red Lands deck, but I don't want to take that and be utterly committed to Green Red Lands. <clears throat> uh, Garbage Mythic, I think, at least in limited. Yeah, there's not a lot of X spells. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take Rhyme Tender here. I think Cross and Tusker or Bellowing Elk might actually be the pick. Um, because the elk is actually really good. It's, it's requirement is you play creatures. Also, Venomous Changeling is good. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to take Venomous Changeling. There's not a lot of black cards in that pack, so maybe we send signals that direction that we could take black cards. Alright. Um. So first Sphere Gargantua is good. Still lots of red cards, none of them particularly amazing. Lava Dart is good. Um, I think the pick is either Bellowing Elk or Trumpeting Herd. I'm going to take the Elk this time. Okay. Now in this pack, let me double check to make sure Altar of Dementia is not worth anything in particular. Because we are not doing um, Phantom Drafts, we're doing the real deal. Okay, it is not worth anything. We could take Ayula's inf influence and do the uh, the Bear Force. <laughs> Bear Force one. Um, but I think Rot Widow pack is the most amazing card of this. Like it can take over the game. Astrolabe would be a pickup, but I'm not confident in uh, picking up Snowlands at the moment. So we'll take the Rot Widow pack. Okay. Um, let's see. Bizarre Trade Mage is in blue. I think the pick is either Winding Way or Crows and Tusker. Uh, Bogarden Dragonheart is really good, but we're not in red at the moment. We could take it. We could move into red. There were a lot of red cards going by, but we've sent the wrong signals for that, I think. Um, I'm going to take Crows and Tusker. All right. We have a Talisman in this pack. Talisman could be good. Elvish Fury is usually good to have a one of. Um, probably don't need Scrapyard Recombiner. We'll take the Talisman. Okay, in this pack, I'm noticing some, some snow cards that are relatively high value. There's also a Smoke Shroud. I don't think we want the Totem Armor or the Spore Frog. So it's best to pick one of the other um, strong cards in the pack. I think I take the Blizzard Strix. I think it's more likely we would use that than the others. Ooh, Exclude is very good, especially in Limited. What pick is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Pick seven, Exclude? Probably should take the Scavenger or the Snow-Covered Swamp, but I'm going to take the Exclude. If if blue is open and we start, we keep getting cards like that, I will definitely stay in blue. So there's an Astrolabe, Cankrix, and Choking Tethers, all of which are really good. We could take the Astrolabe, but we have no no snow mana as of yet. Uh, Choking Tethers is the most useful, but the most common. I think we're going to take Iceberg Cankrix and see if we can't do the, uh, maybe the snow thing. Snow Swamp for sure. We might just be splashing green or maybe not in green at all. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Um, I think first Sphere Gargantua, probably the best for us. No particular piles 
I was going to say, these are just uh, where I happen to be putting cards. Um, what are the odds we run white? Very minimal, but potentially... I'm going to take it. We might need extra snow permanence. You never know. I guess we'll take the foil rare. Fog frog. And an aura. Random aura. Hopefully pack two is much better for us. Alright, pack two. Pack two, we have Mist Syndicate Naga. Snow Covered Island Rhyme Tender. I think we take the ninja simply because it's very strong, um, and if if you can if you can empty your opponent's board and hit them once with it, you're gonna take over the game. So we'll take the we'll take the naga. Okay, in this pack. There's an Astrolabe. Genesis. If it's in your graveyard, you may pay three. If you do, return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So that's a ton of value, but is very slow. I think I think we're better off taking the Astrolabe. That, 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 that mm. yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take the Astrolabe, because we're gonna need fixing. That's guaranteed. Okay, in this pack, um, Pondering Mage would be very good. Phantom Ninja would be pretty decent. Onirophage would be good, but I think I think I'm gonna take the Snowland. <sighs> All right, so we have one. Two, three, four, five snow permanents. So Glacial Revelation's not great yet. Um, I'm gonna take the second crab, and hopefully we can find Crabtron. Like, Chiller Pillar and Snow Covered Island are both cards we want. But we're gonna take the crab. It's too bad we're not in white. There's a Battle Screech. That card's only absolutely broken and limited. What cards are people taking that they're passing stuff like that? <laughs> I, I kind of wish this was an elimination draft, just so I could see what other decks people are building. Because either they're all absolutely bonkers, or nobody has any idea what they're doing. Okay. In this pack, we have Bellowing Elk. Um, or Snow Swamp. And I kind of want the Snow Swamp. Being real here. Okay, we got another Spirit. Crows and Tusker or Snow Plains. Um, I guess we can take the Tusker. Another Snow Plains. Venomous Changeling is good. Um, I'll take the Changeling. Uh, I don't like Prohibit more than I like Snow-Covered Island, so we'll take the Island. Um, Twin Silk Spider is good. Like, the Reach has been very relevant in the drafts I've done lately. I guess we take Mirasa Behemoth. I don't know how we get it into the grave, though. Get lands in the grave, that is. Uh, Glacial Revelation is technically in our colors. Weather the storm in the sideboard. Bellowing Elk is going way too late. Now we just need some saddled Rhyme Stags. Let's see what our force is. 
It's a martyr soul. All right, last pack. Oh my god. This could be a reason to splash white by itself, because it's six mana Plague Wind, and that's absurd and limited. And giving my opponent that many lands almost certainly doesn't matter. Other than that, there's a Frostwall and a Snow Forest in this pack. I'm going to take this because we might be able to splash for it. Fallen Shinobi? Who... <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess the person immediately uh, next to me is just not in blue or black. Wow. Um, yeah, we'll take... We'll take a Fallen Shinobi. It's in our colors. A couple hits from that, and it's just... It could be game over. Okay, another Glacial Revelation. Another... <laughs> another Iula's influence. Um, I guess I take Mana War. Because, like, rank officer seems nice, but, like, man of war... Like, the longer we delay, we've got some big late game. So, like, take man of war. Echo of Eons. That's just fun. That goes absolutely against our mill plan. We could take Fairy Seer, which would synergize with a couple of rare ninjas we've picked up. Or we could take Astrolabe and have way better mana. I like Astrolabe because potentially it allows us to splash Winds of a Bandit. There's also a mob in this pack and Smiting Helix. I totally skipped over Smiting Helix. If I could just take like one, two, three, four, five cards, six cards from this pack, maybe, <laughs> and just end the draft, I'd be, it'd be fantastic. I'm going to take the Astrolabe. Uh, Snow Swamp for sure. Hmm. We need to do the Planes or this Choking Tethers. We have 21 playable cards. I think we take Choking Tethers. There's a Soul Herder. A Vesper Lark. Can get back a Cankrix if it dies. Uh, I think we just take the Winter's Rest. So we have 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 snow permanents. We'll take the Web Weaver Changeling. Uh, I don't think we're going to be aggro enough for a Frost Wallet. We'll take the land. could have had another Arkham's Astrolabe if I had immediately gone snow, which is kind of what I wanted to do, but at the same time, like, <laughs> I, I wasn't going to force snow it, but if I had forced snow, it was the open lane. That's, that's what would have been amazing. Okay, um, we could take the Phantom Ninja just to have a guaranteed hit for, like, Fallen Shinobi or... Missed Syndicate Naga, but I actually think I want Stream of Thought. Uh, I don't think we need two Glacial Revelations. I'll take another Stream of Thought. Ooh, Smiting Helix. We have 26 playable cards. We will be making some cuts. Snowland or Removal. I think because we want the game to go along, we want Smiting Helix. card inside. We're gonna be splashing for that. Which means we're gonna want that. Um, I'll take the card with cycling. And an ephemerate. Okay. Actually, I think we have, since half of our lands are snow lands, I think Icehide Golem is just fine. Okay. First, though, we have to make five cuts. Uh, 
we probably our our least um, uh, used color is black. So I'm gonna cut this first sphere gargantua. It's a good card. Good ability. Oh, actually, maybe we shouldn't. This is going to be tough. Depending on how long this takes, I might actually cut this from the video. <laughs> uh. I'm going to cut Mirasa Behemoth. I don't know how likely it is we're going to naturally get a land in the grave unless we're casting Glacial Revelation. Uh, and for the same reason, I'm going to cut First Sphere Garcantua. I like having Talisman of Resilience because it does fix for black as well as um, potentially ramps us into our bigger threats a little faster. We need to cut three cards. Probably don't need two Crows and Tuskers. I think we're going to win with Mill most of the time, which is why I like having two Stream of Thoughts. Five good pieces of removal. Probably don't need the ice side golem. I was trying to max out on snow permanence, but we may not need to. We have no double black. Three artifact sources that can get us black. Blue is our most important early color. And then green. Hang on. I guess we want two planes. Maybe not. We have no double black. Two cards that are double green, and the rest are blue. I don't know what the 16th land should be. I think I'm just going to run 41 cards because I'm getting too frustrated to try and cut all the last card. Make it an island. Alright, let me double check for Glacial Revelation. We have eight snowlands. One, two, three, four, five, six snow permanents. So that's 14 snow permanents. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys round one. Hopefully this works. Four color snow. All right, round one. All right, we'll play first. I mean, it's slow, but um, we do have a Crows and Tusker. We can fix. We're just not doing anything early. Uh, I think that's better than mulliganing. We're going to keep. Start Forest. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Changeling Outcast. Pass the turn. Okay, because I sense Ninjutsu Trickery, I'm just going to tap that. Keep him off of drawing for a turn. Ooh, Mist Syndicate Naga. Opponent plays a Putrid Goblin. Okay. 
We're going to cycle Kroos and Tusker at the end of turn. Opponent gets in. Ninjutsu. Hits us for three, they draw two. Another Changeling Outcast, okay. I think, yeah, we're gonna go get a Snow Swamp. We'll play a Bellowing Elk. They kill Bellowing Elk, and they play a Headless Specter. Okay, they get in for four. They draw three cards. Hmm. I think we're just gonna cast Fallen Shinobi. If they don't have another premium removal spell, they have to keep a creature back to block it. But they've drawn so many cards, they probably do. Ah, yes. Okay. Now we just hope we don't discard Webweaver Changeling. Oh, that only works if they're Hellbent. Okay. Astrolabe. Play an Astrolabe. Draw an Astrolabe. Play an Island. Play a Webweaver Changeling. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Mana War. Yeah, our opponent's got some uh, crazy value and crazy tempo going on. Hits us for a ton. Hits us for even more. Yeah. Um, we can play this, we can gain five. Good block here, we'd be at seven, and we take way more than seven. Okay. Just had to double check that math. Well, shoot. Have to hope our opponent doesn't have a crazy start like that again. I don't think there's anything we can side in that's going to help either. So, all right. Run it back. Hope we have a faster start. I actually think I'm going to bring in the Ice Hide Golem just to have a potential early game blocker. That will be a really bad top deck later. Maybe not. Forget I said anything. Because their one drops are unblockable. All right, we'd love to play first. Um, yeah, we've got fixing, we've got stuff. Seems good. We'll start Snow Swamp, Astrolabe, draw a card. Wow, all four of our different colors. Well, blue and black, we'll leave up the scariest colors of mana. Our opponent did not have turn two ninjutsu. They have a Cabal Therapist and another Changeling Outcast. So we'll go ahead and play Mana War. Bounce, um, I guess Cabal Therapist. I don't think our opponent was gonna sack anything, but it's the only thing that can block Mana War. Opponent gets in for two. No ninjutsu. They make us sack the jellyfish. And they replay Cabal Therapist, okay? Uh, we'll play Forest. Glacial Revelation. Wow! All those snow permanents. 
and we dump everything into the grave. <laughs> Take snow swamp. Pass the turn. The good news is next turn we have snow-covered plains smiting helix. If that buys us anything. Ugh. Opponent does have the mana for the ninjutsu now. Yep, okay. They're gonna draw three cards. Just full reload there. And they play a putrid goblin, okay? We draw an island. Play a plains. Pretty sure we have to do this. Oops. Hang on. <sighs> it's too bad we don't have the uh, Dead of Winter card. This deck would be perfect for Dead of Winter. If they flood the board and we draw Winds of Abandon, I think that's our only way to win. We draw a Talisman of Resilience. So play Snow Swamp, play Talisman, cast Fallen Shinobi, Diabolic Edict number two. Okay. Well, our opponent has like the perfect ninja tempo deck, and uh, I think that's probably this deck's worst possible matchup. So I'm not I'm not too upset about this. It's just kind of what happens. Stream of Thought. Yeah, it doesn't do it. I'll see you guys next round. Alright, round two. Alright, I like it. We'll keep... Not another tempo deck, please. At least they mulligan to six. <laughs> Start Island. Let's see, they put both cards on top of their library. And it's a tempo deck. Oh, good. So, Snow Swamp, Iceberg Kankrix. Next turn, we can play a land and leave up Exclude. Okay, or not. <laughs> you get in for two, that's fine. We get a Fallen Shinobi. So replay the Kankrix. Miller opponent. Keyboard stopped working there for a second. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we should block. They could defile here. Okay, they just have a smoke shaper. And they replay Fairy Seer. Hmm. They put two cards on top of their deck. We could attack with the crab and potentially ninjutsu the fallen shinobi. Uh, if they left two cards on top, they're probably good. On the other hand, they block. That does nothing, and uh, we probably lose. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm going to try it. All right, they saw right through the surprise. <laughs> We're gonna play a Rot Widow pack, as that is our best blocker. Opponent getting in for a bunch. We'll block the Man of War. They play a massive ninja and kill us instantly. <laughs> okay. All right. Run it back. 
<laughs> you know, I just 3 0 prior to this with this awesome black white deck, so. <laughs> this kind of hurts. Alright, we'll play first. Mm, no, that doesn't do enough quick enough. This is probably okay. Keep this, put back an island. Start Island, pass the turn. Play Snow Forest, pass. I think we're going to do a Glacial Revelation here. One, two, three, four. Nice. Pass turn. I think I'm going to discard this Bellowing Elk. Because the rest of the cards in my hand I want. It's possible I should have discarded the Talisman, though, upon further evaluation. Play Cankrix. Play Snow Swamp. Play Astrolabe. Dang it! Don't you know you're supposed to let us uh, mill you, opponent? <laughs> Play the other Astrolabe. Need to draw some cards. Alright. So opponent can unearth first Sphere Gargantua to draw a card here. Or play a Sling Gang Lieutenant, either one. Talisman of Resilience. I'm going to go ahead and make him sack a token. Next turn we have Helix Helix or something else potentially. Okay, Headless Spectre. We draw a Venomous Changeling. All right, we're going to go ahead and attack. Get rid of the slug. Get rid of the specter. And pass. Okay, opponent unearths the Gargantua, we take seven, and our opponent plays a Man of War to bounce first Sphere Gargantua, except it gets exiled because it's not how that works. Okay, now you got it, opponent. Go to combat. Attack for two, see if our opponent wants to trade. They do. Play an island. Play a venomous changeling. Pass the turn. They play a fairy seer. And a wart eye witch. And a talisman. Alright. We have run our opponent out of cards. <laughs> um, let's see. So we can Winter's Rest this Witch and attack. They can triple block and we get our choice of what to die, what to kill. Otherwise, they don't block and we can Mist Syndicate Naga. Okay. We kill the Goblin. They get to Scry. We lose a life. Hopefully they don't draw anything good. They get in for two. We take two. 
Iceberg Kankrix. Play the crab. Exclude? Not fair. Well, there goes the mill plan for now. Get in with the changeling. Ninjutsu. We get a token copy. Replay our changeling. Pass the turn. Now if we could just draw Winds of the Bay. Oh wait, never mind, it's in the uh, graveyard. <laughs> now if we could draw a Stream of Thought to shuffle our important cards back in, that'd be fantastic. Put them as an Azra Smoke Shaper. So they hit us for three. Then they get to replay their fairy. We'll hold back. Pondering Mage. Okay. Well, the good news is we can just about kill them with one stream of thought. Blizzard Strix. Exile target permanent other than Blizzard Strix and return it to the battlefield under our control or their control. Hmm. Alright, well we might be able to use this to kill the fairy. So let's see how our opponent attacks. A man of war, huh? Bouncing the token. Scour all possibilities. Okay, we get to preordain. We are very close to just killing them with uh, Stream of Thought, which would be really epic. So if we flash in Blizzard Strix, is there anything we can exile and return to the battlefield that would be cool? It's probably better that we block and then flicker. Actually, probably should flicker Astrolabe to get another draw. We're fine trading there. We're just doing this now so that we don't accidentally discard it to uh, the Headless Spectre. Okay, they get to Scry. We discard our Swamp. There's Stream of Thought. And Kroos and Tusker. So let's see. Our opponent is at 14 cards. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. So we can cast and replicate twice. They'll draw and go to 1. So if we put back the Iceberg Cankrixes... <laughs> Um, hmm. So if we do that, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 from the sacks. So we could block and like block, take 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we can survive until the next turn. We're going to replicate twice. And we're going to put back Winds of Abandon. And I think that's it. I don't think we want to draw anything else that's in our grave.
We could put back the Cankrixes because we do have a Frozen Tusker. And we have one Snowland we haven't drawn. So I'm actually going to do that too because those will kill our opponent. Okay, now we just have to not die and draw any card that mills our opponent. It's a pretty tall order. We technically have two draws to do it as well. Mm, that uh, first Sphere Gargantua was really going to hurt. Actually, now they have to kill us. They have to put together enough damage to kill us now, because they have no cards left. Sweet. Didn't think we'd have won that one. <laughs> um, I mean, like, let's just uh, do something like that again. Stall out the whole game. And mill our opponent out in one fell swoop. I think that's our only chance. <laughs> this is almost good. If we could play an Astrolabe, it would be amazing, but we can't, so we're going to mulligan. Yeah, I think we keep this one. We're going to put back... Probably Winter's Rest, actually. I think the spider is more important. No one drop fairy for our opponent. Start Snow Island, play Astrolabe. Okay, we draw the Cankrix. So we now have something to play on too. Opponent scours all possibilities, which is good. Every turn they don't develop the board is better for us. They put two cards on the bottom, which is good. Play a forest, play the crab, pass the turn. Play a snow swamp. Mill our opponent. Okay, we're just going to pass and leave up exclude. Our other uh, plays here are much lower value, and we'd like to protect this Cankrix if at all possible. Okay, that gets excluded. Ooh, Cankrix 2. Crab Boogaloo. Perfect. Play the crab. <laughs> Sweet. We'll even play the Talisman. Pass the turn. Let the crabbing begin. First Sphere Gargantua. Well, at least that draws you a card. We'll take five. Opponent F6 through that turn. Interesting. We get a Mist Syndicate Naga. Ooh, we can Ninjutsu the Crab and then replay the Crab. I use the Crab to play the Crab. I like it. Yes! <laughs> it worked! We won a round! Oh, perfect! That's nice. I really thought we were just going to get stomped this whole league. And round three already. Okay, love to play first. Let's play first. This is very close to being extremely playable. In fact, now we're... We can play the Changeling, but we need blue. We're going to mulligan. Also, uh, bad hand. We're going to mulligan as well. You know what? I'll try it. We'll keep. Going to put two cards back. We'll put back Blizzard Strix and Astrolabe. Mill our opponent for four.
Ah, black white. Pass the turn. And they ransack the lab. Good, good. All according to plan. <laughs> I think we'd like to draw exclude the most. Crabs would be nice too. Play the swamp. Pass the turn. Opponent plays an answered prayers. We're in a cycle. We're going to grab a snow forest. Let's see what we draw. It's a changeling. Crap. No crap. Um. Play the Snow Forest, play the Talisman, play the Crab. Pass the turn. Problem is, our opponent's prayers are getting answered now. That is a Lancer Sliver. They get in for three. We go to 17. We draw nothing useful. Play the Island. Pass the turn. Something tells me I shouldn't have dumped that uh, astrolabe. Ooh, ransacking the lab once more. A second answered prayers. Um, this is not going how we would like. On the plus side, if we draw a our other stream of thought and last two turns, we're basically going to kill them again. Ah, return from extinction. That's a problem. Opponent gains a bunch of life, going to make a big swing. You know what? I'm just, uh, I'm gonna say we only drew lands that game and weren't gonna win. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so versus our opponent's deck, which involves creatures, flickering. Yeah, who am I kidding? We don't have a sideboard. Let's just run it back. All right, we'll play first. Not a good hand. This hand is much more reasonable. I will keep this hand. No. Put back the island. Cool. Play an island. Play Astrolabe. We draw Winter's Rest. Opponent starts Swamp. We draw a Swamp. We'll play a Swamp. Like I said, it's the scarier color of mana. Second Swamp for our opponent. And they play a Putrid Goblin. We're going to play our non-Snowland because we have the Astrolabe here. Cast Glacial Revelation. Wow. Wow. It is abysmal. We have so many snow permanents. Get a swamp, dump the rest in the grave, pass the turn. <laughs> oh man, we even dumped our two ninjas. <sighs> Opponent's stuck on one color of mana and still doing better than us. Okay, we got a choking tethers. Play the forest, play the elk, pass the turn.
opponent has an undead auger. Attacks for two. No blocks. We draw an island. Play the island. I think I'm just going to pass for now. <laughs> Probably cycle choking tethers just to get another draw and delay a little bit of damage. But it finds a planes. Cycle choking tethers, tap putrid goblin. Well, we can only draw lands this game. Put a plays a changeling. We draw. Ooh, that's a that's a good draw. Play our forest. Play the web weaver changeling. We'll gain a bunch of life. And now we get in for four. Okay, no blocks for our opponent. Well, they mobbed the changeling. Uh. So many changelings. Jeez. Okay, well, I think we might be able to survive. We do have an out, and that out is um, Winds of Change. I think we have to block to stay alive. So we block Venomous Changeling, 2, 4, 6, 9. We die exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is so painful. I think I've been turned off this card forever. Unless every permanent in my deck is a snow permanent, because, oh my god. Yeah, you got it, opponent. Oh, that was very disheartening. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Modern Horizons, the first draft after I got back. Um, I know I did. I have been enjoying Modern Horizons. This one wasn't particularly good. We had kind of a sweet deck and just got out-tempoed like every single game. So uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure that you uh, leave a like or a dislike. Either way, it helps me out. Uh, lets me know what to do. If you subscribe to this channel if you're so inclined. Follow me on Twitch. Same username there if you want to catch me live when I go live. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!